Uh, hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time we're going to have a look at uh, Valoros Map Align Utility uh, which is available on the uh, forums. Um, and this is an extremely useful utility uh, for realigning maps uh, or resizing maps uh, so that uh, you can get a Fantasy Grounds grid to fit over the map where the map already has a kind of baked in grid. Uh, we can show you what we mean here if we go to our Fantasy Grounds. We've got a map here um, which is uh, from Dungeons of the Mad Mage. And we can see it's a lovely map but it also has a, a grid which is sort of baked into it. So if we uh, then try and draw a Fantasy Grounds grid on here, obviously we draw the grid as close as we can to one of the uh, map grids uh, or uh, so existing on the map. We can see that we're fine um, initially the few grids uh, around the uh, where we've drawn is fine but if we start to move left and right uh, and up and down we can see that very quickly the uh, fantasy grounds grid is now drifting uh, away from the uh, grid that's on the map and so it's uh, it looks horrible uh, it doesn't work and so we need a method by which to resize this map so that the fantasy grounds grid will fit and this is where Valorous uh, map align utility comes into its own. Um, so you uh, would be wanting to uh, download the grid here or download the utility here from the um, attached files, uh, unzip it and then you just uh, start it up in the normal way and you get uh, this window here. Um, so we first of all need to, we'll, we'll worry about what all of this at the top here means, uh, we'll get a, a map up first. So if we open up the map that we had, and this is our uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage map once again, um, and we first of all notice that the squares here are 10 feet, which gives us uh, an even bigger problem than what we had uh, originally, because normally a, a Fantasy Grounds grid is 5 feet. Uh, the, the grid itself represents five feet. So we actually need to have four Fantasy Grounds grids within each of these uh, grid squares on the map. So I've chosen this map particularly for this to demonstrate it as well. Um, so in order to get started, we want to be zooming in to uh, as close to the left hand side and top of the map uh, as we want. So we're going to zoom into this area here. Uh, just using the uh, zoom in buttons. You can use the mouse wheel as well, um, but this gives you slightly more precision. Um, you just need to keep aligning things up so that we don't lose sight of our square. Uh, and this is where we're going to start. And the way we do, the way this utility works is that we basically draw uh, a blue square, uh, which is going to cover the size of one of these grids, and then a red grid will appear uh, covering the map, and then we will resize the map so that it fits that red grid which appears. Uh, so we just draw the blue square here, just simply by uh, left-clicking, holding down the mouse and dragging, and then we cover as close as what we can get to um, what we think is a square. And if you look up in this little bit here, we see that we have actually managed to draw an exact square 27 pixels by 27 pixels. You, you will also notice uh, up here that the output tile size here is set to 70 pixels, and this is the default. And if we switch over to this area here, we see that the we've got the original height and width of the map, and we've also got the output width and height. Now, the output width and height in this case is going to be way too big for a Fantasy Grounds map. I mean, the recommended is 2048 by 2048, and this is going to exceed this by a considerable margin. I mean, even our original map is exceeding it, but not by too much, and we can get away with that. Uh, but we certainly can't get away with um, something of this sort of size. So we're going to have to reduce the uh, tile size for the output. And we also have to bear in mind that we're going to have four uh, Fantasy Grounds grids within uh, each of that uh, grids on the map. So if we look at the drop down menu here, we can see that we've got various options, the smallest of which is 25. If we make it 25, we see that we can actually get the output uh, width and height to something reasonable. But we're never going to be able to draw a 12 and a half pixel sized grid. Uh, so we need an even number in here. So we just need to type a number in. So let's make it 30. 
which I think is a reasonable compromise between size and the ugliness of the uh, the grid and the look of the map at the end. And we can see now that our output width and height are still exceeding what the recommendation is, but it's not too bad. Anyway, enough faffle. We've uh, we've got that out of the way, and we can now see uh, that if we start to move um, this. Uh, window across to the right um, that the red grid is very quickly becoming misaligned with the uh, map grid or the grid that's pre-drawn on the map. So the first thing, uh, and we can also see that it does the same thing uh, up and down as well, but we're not going to worry about the up and down, we're going to worry about the left right first and we're going to fix that first. You should always do this. Um, so basically just start moving across until uh, we've got an area where uh, we've got to, don't go right to the end, do it in increments. It's much better if you do this in increments. Don't go all the way to the end of the map and try and align it from there. Uh, go a bit until we've got something which is like this. It's, it's definitely misaligned. And the way we uh, realign this is to use these uh, width uh, pluses and minuses here. See, there's three options, one pixel, a sixth, and an eighth. And I would use the one sixth and one eighth always. I, I've never found a real use for the one eighth. Um, so the smallest uh, is best in this case. So it looks like the red grid is too far over to the right. So we need to move it left. So it's a negative. So we're going to reduce the tunnel width here. And as we click uh, on the minus one eighth, we can see the red grid uh, jumping to our left and we now have the red grid is now realigned up with the map and we can see that the map size is changing uh, as we do that. Uh, so we keep going to the right and now it looks like we've got to the end and it looks like the grid here is still misaligned but it's misaligned the other way and this is where the fiddly bit comes in in a way because we've got to make this uh, a little bit bigger and then a little bit smaller and then a little bit bigger until it kind of fits. Um, so we're going to um, actually use the one sixth here and we're going to jump the one sixth to the right, uh, add in the sixth and then we're going to take away an eighth. Um, and that's pretty much uh, the map back to a reasonable alignment. And if we keep, uh, if we go along to the left we can see that left right um, our red grid is now pretty much aligned uh, with the underlying uh, grid and it's really just a case of doing the same for the up and down now the up and down uh, again same thing start at the top uh, or at least start at some point below where you drew your grid um, and then we just move down until we've got a situation where the red grid is now so misaligned that we can actually uh, fix it. And this time we're using the tile height pixels. Um, and again, we're going to just use the one eighth. Um, again, we want this to be a negative. We want it smaller. And we just click a couple of times. And we now have the grid is pretty much aligned there. And we move down a bit. And as we move down, we can see that towards the end of the map, it once again gets slightly uh, misaligned. Now, this is probably not huge, uh, but, you know, it's, it's bad enough that it's not going to align properly. So once again, we're going to do the same kind of trick uh, with the um, pixels. We're going to make a one-sixth and then minus one eighth and we might have to do this uh, actually if we look up here now we can see that the height and width is 26.667 for both uh, left and right up and down so I think what we can probably do with this now if we have a look uh, all the way up what we can actually do now is just move this grid using the uh, grid align here we just move that up a pixel and it looks like that takes care of the up and down and we now have a grid the, gr the red grid is now aligned up and down with the underlying map grid so i think we've cracked this one um, so we now just save 
uh, to test it out, you'll see that um, the save automatically adds in some information about the pixel size and the height and width, so you're not overwriting your original map. So we're just going to save that, and if we get back into Fantasy Grounds, we should see our new map in here. Uh, and if we draw a grid, now remember we uh, set the the grid to 30, so we're going to draw a, a Fantasy Grounds grid of 15 pixels, so we need to find out that there and if we can and there's our 15 draw our 15 pixel grid and when we zoom out now we can see that the fantasy grounds grid is aligning nicely uh, with the map um, and so we have uh, achieved what we set out to achieve um, thanks once again to uh, Valorous's um, excellent uh, tool uh, from the uh, Fantasy Grounds forum. So a shout out again to Valoros for uh, creating the utility um, and hopefully this video will fill in a little bit of, of a gap um, as to how to actually use it to its best advantage. So thanks again for watching and cheers for now.